Every week as an engineering student, I had 22 contact hours of lectures, labs, and tutorials. It's recommended to us that we spend two to three hours studying those lectures, which means 22 hours plus 22 times two, that's 66 hours of studying every single week that the uni expects us to do. Deep that, that's like having two full-time jobs. So that begs the question, do engineering students have social lives? If you're new to this channel, oi, welcome. My name is Aldrich. I've just graduated with a degree in mechatronics and robotics, and I'm here to share with you my experience. Yes, it's true that engineering students have so much work to do. Throughout university, I always put my social life on a high priority because uh, A, I wanted to make new friends because I didn't know anybody in Sheffield, uh, B, I didn't want to feel lonely and C, I just, you know, I wanted to have that fun. As I said, in first year I had about 22 contact hours per week but then in second year it was like 18 and then third year it was like 14 to 16 which still felt like a lot of work and I think that's quite normal for people who are studying STEM degrees. Now I've given you some background right let me tell you this every time I went on a night out or like a bar crawl or a party or you know some sort of motive right I always met like one other STEM student in that motive. And one of the key things that we tend to talk about, right, was like how stressful our degrees are, how much work we have to do, and just like how far behind we are. But despite that, right, we are still able to have that social life, we're still able to have fun. And in my mind, like if I can do it, and if all these other STEM students could do it as well, it kind of shows that you don't like, engineering or like STEM students in general can indeed have a social life. There's a lot of people in my course and a lot of people, like a lot of my friends, right? I, I think they like to hop on what I like, what I like to call the busy bandwagon. It's when people tell themselves that they're so busy and tell other people that they're busy when in reality, it's actually poor time management skills, but they try to convince themselves that they are busy and that they need to be doing something productive 24 seven. We all have 24 hours in our day, remember that, right? And what helped like me and what helped other STEM students like really secure their social life and really balance like getting work done and like other things, right? Pretty much is that they had like some sort of routine in place. And that's the key message of this video. Learning how to secure a routine for yourself is like an entire video in itself, but I wanted to just focus on what that actually means. When designing your routine, I think it's a good rule of thumb to follow the 888 rule, which means that, you know, spend eight hours of your day sleeping, spend eight hours of your day working, right? And spend eight hours just doing whatever it is you wanna do. I, I know that a massive issue as a student, right, in uni, sixth form, or, and even GCSEs, right, is poor time management skills. And, you know, sometimes we do tell ourselves that we're constantly busy, but at the end of the day, it could actually just be that our time management skills isn't that great. And please don't think that like, I'm digging into you for that and don't take it personally. I'm just trying to, you know, make you aware that it could be your time management skills. So really do think about that. Everybody that I pretty much met in university, right? Regardless of what degree that they were doing, yeah? I feel like we all had our own imperfectly perfect routines. Routines that let us do the work, but also have fun. And sometimes that balance is skewed depending on the person and depending on the day, depending on the situation, depending on the periods. And you know, there's all sorts of factors that affects that 888 balance. In terms of like studying, some of us prefer having to-do lists. Some of us prefer to do, you know, Pomodoro techniques. Some of us, keep it simple and just treat university like a nine to five job. Some of us like waking up at like 6 a.m. Some of us like staying up to 6 a.m. Like it really does depend like what is your strengths and preferences at the time. I think as long as you get the work done, which is like the most important thing, like try make work your default. And that's something that I um, try to do myself. Like every time, I was doing nothing I did try like working by default and then when I was invited to a night out or like a party or any sort of social thing any sort of social motive I was more inclined to say yes because I felt like you know what today I did I did I did all right I did all right I mean university is only three years 
you know there, there's there's so much that you have to cherish and you know working hard and like trying to crunch in uh, your revision and stuff I'm not, I'm not saying like um, rush your revision I'm saying you know sometimes you don't need three hours to revise sometimes if you just put your head down and just go all in for even 45 minutes you could actually get a lot more than you thought you could get done all it because you have a load of hours during your week like of lectures of studying right and trust me you don't need to put in like the minimum 66 hours of work every week like and I, I don't think even I did that right I think what matters is like can you get can you get the work done and try not to like distract yourself as well like be aware of what your distractions are um, so you can make more time to actually revise and thus you have more time to actually do what matters most to you like which is maybe that social life let's go back to that original question do engineering students have social lives and the answer yeah man we do being an engineering student will not hinder your social life like no matter what anybody tells you like most of us right do have like something going on outside of engineering and for me I decided to do my I like social life but also in a previous video I also balance gym as well overall what's going to help you balance your time and improve your time management skills right trust me yeah it is having a routine in place and it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it's something that helps you get the work you want to get done before you go on that night out or getting or having fun first for a bit and then understanding the consequences after that you know what I mean like and having some sort of plan and routine is what's going to help you adapt to the weeks and the stresses to come if you do need help with securing a routine I do have this video that you can watch or you can check out this video or you can watch my study with me videos to help you focus I uh, you survived through January exams yeah and I know like this semester is going to be a long one maybe but you've got this yeah trust me you got this everything's gonna be all right you're gonna balance your stuff really well yeah believe in yourself and if you make mistakes you know what just just learn from them yeah tomorrow's a clean slate and yeah man just you got this man I believe in you